It's um some time. Beware of strangers, Roy Spadoys. Wow, I learned so much at school today. You know the Earth is really, really big, right? Well, the Sun is way bigger. In fact, one million three hundred thousand Earth could fit inside the Sun. I know that, Maker. I'm in the same class as you, so I learned the same thing. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just fascinated. Ready to walk home? I can't wait to learn about Jupiter tomorrow. Hey, is that car following us? Remember, don't talk to strangers. Hi. Boys, but always, what are you doing? You're not supposed to talk to strangers. Hello there. What is your name? Don't tell him. I'm Royce Benoist. That's exactly who I'm looking for. Your mom went to the hospital and asked me to drive you there. Really? Okay. Wait. Get inside. She's waiting for you. Hmm. The man doesn't sound like he's lying. Do you think Royce Benoist should get in the car? No, Royce Benoist. Never get inside a stranger's car. But he knows my name. That's because you told him your name. Run! Mommy, mommy, you won't believe what just happened. Calm down, Royce Bedoys. Tell me what happened. Maker and I were walking home, and a stranger told me you were in a hospital and wanted me to get in the car. And I almost got in the car, but we decided to run away instead. Oh my! You know not to talk to strangers. They'll use all sorts of lies to trick you into following them. I know now, mommy. I'm going to report this incident to the school. Now go tell Lois to get ready to go to the park. Lois, hurry up and get dressed so we can go to the park. I'm already dressed. Do you ever see me wearing something else? Ding dong. Who is it? Hi, my car broke down and my cell phone is out of batteries. Can I borrow your phone? Uh, no. I have a lot of ice cream in the car. Really? Do you have mint chocolate chip? Yes, I do. Come outside and get it. Oh no! Should they open the door to get the ice cream? Mommy! Oh, your mom's home? Never mind. Bye. What is it, Royce Bedoyes? A man outside was trying to trick us into opening the door. Good job for not opening the door, boys. I have to report this to the police. So let's go to the park tomorrow. The next day. Push me high, your boys, but boys. <laughs> Hi, boys. Do you like puppies? Oh, I love puppies. I have more in the car. Want to come and see? Boys, but boys. Make a smart choice, mommy. But you. What happened? I heard you screaming while I was looking for my wallet. Louis almost followed a stranger, but I stopped him thanks to my quick thinking. Why can't good things happen to us? Excuse me, ma'am. Did you drop this wallet? Oh, you found it! Thank you so much. Yay, a good person! Good job, Roy Spadoys, for not following strangers no matter what they say. To buy um some merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> what if dinosaurs were our pets? Cool. I always wanted dinosaur as a pet. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Firstly, if dinosaurs were our pets, dogs and cats may pack their bags and move to a different planet. Hmm. Secondly, if dinosaurs were our pets, dinosaurs have a huge appetite. We may have to skip our dinner. Thirdly, if dinosaurs were our pets, entire family may have to work as a team in order to tie a rope around the dinosaur's neck. Hmm. Fourthly, if dinosaurs were our pets, instead of taking the dinosaur round for a walk, the other way round may become a reality. Hmm. Fifthly, if dinosaurs were our pets, thieves will definitely start looking for a new profession. Hmm. Lastly, some dinosaurs are huge in size. If dinosaurs were our pets. They may need a bigger house than us. Hmm. What if dinosaurs came back? Cool. 
I am sure even they will become my fans. Oh, um, some. Firstly, if dinosaurs came back, humans, along with their pet animals, may have to shift to a different planet. Hmm. Secondly, if dinosaurs came back, Lion, the king of the jungle, might have to give up his crown. Hmm. Thirdly, if dinosaurs came back, Giraffe, the tallest animal on Earth, will not look that tall anymore. Hmm. Fourthly, if dinosaurs uh -huh. came back, Eagle, the king of the sky, might have to find a place to hide. Hmm. Fifthly, if dinosaurs uh -huh. came back, dinosaurs will eat up everything. There will be severe scarcity of food. Hmm. Lastly, if dinosaurs came back, paleontologists, as in scientists who specialize in studying fossils, will be overjoyed. Hmm.